All right, thanks for checking out our videos. Uh, so what we have here is our uh, 3L13. It's an ER20 style head with, uh, of course, three spindles. It's adjustable. They uh, adjust out to the outside of this center to center spacing. And we have our 2-5 adjustable head here, which is an ER8 style. Both of these are set up for a five millimeter, or in this case, a 3 16 diameter tool. And so we have the collets put in here to hold these nice and, and firm, uh, just in these two spindles that I'm showing here. What we're going to try to do is measure the insertion depth of these collets. And so if you have a fixed pattern head, uh, the depth that your tool is going to go into these spindles is going to vary from what is shown here, but this is an example of what can be expected on our adjustable heads and sort of uh, the basic numbers of what you may find on a fixed head. Uh, the custom spindles that are made for the custom fixed heads, of course, vary based on your application and uh, actual needs, and we just try to make the strongest possible design we can. We'll try to give you drawings or uh, specifications on those, if possible, as we go. And so what I've done is I've just tightened down the collet nut until it just kisses the top of the collet. So it's not uh, actually uh, tightening the collet yet. And so if I put the tool in, right, and I take that tool out, marking it just simply with my fingernail, and I measure that distance from the tip of my fingernail uh, to the end of the drill, I get on a measurement for this one approximately 1.8 to six inches. Uh, that is for the ER20. Now if I put that same tool in and I tighten down that collet nut and just so it barely touches the uh, the drill here that's just about where it needs to be to tighten on the drill bit. Uh, that gives us the measurement of let's say the the maximum insertion that we can expect. And so I mark that again with my fingernail. Uh, hopefully get the tool out. And uh, if I measure again, I get uh, not a significant change. Uh, I get 1.751. And so doing the same thing on ER8, if I go down to the full depth, mark that with my fingernail, measure it, I get 1.280. Tightening that collet nut down until it just touches the drill. It's nice and tight. Back it off just a hair. Mark it with my fingernail. This is, of course, a rough measurements, but I get 1.215. Uh, really, probably a little bit less than that uh, when the collets, of course, are tightened. Uh, so that those are the basic insertion depths that you'll find on the ER20 and the ER8. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask me or shoot an email off to us. And again, the fixed heads are going to have different measurements. Thank you very much.